In this video, I'm going to talk about placenta previa. Placenta previa is the placenta that is lying wholly or partly within the lower uterine segment. And normally, placenta previa is diagnosed after 28 weeks of gestation because that is when the lower uterine segment is fully formed. There are four types of placenta previa. Type 1 is the lateral placenta previa where it just encroaches on the lower uterine segment, but the placenta does not reach up to the internal os. Type 2 is marginal placenta previa. The placenta only reaches the internal os, but it does not cover it. Type 3, partial placenta previa, where the placenta covers the internal os partly. And lastly, type 4, placenta previa where the placenta completely covers the cervical internal os. The risk factors of placenta previa are divided into two groups, the maternal and fetal. So the maternal risk factors are advanced maternal age, given birth more than five times, smoking, previous caesarean section, dilatation and curettage or ERPOC in previous miscarriage, previous history of placenta previa, uterine structural anomalies, for example fibroids or uterus biconate, and also assisted conception. For fetus, the risk factor is multiple pregnancy, for example in twins. The clinical features of placenta previa are vaginal bleeding. And this usually occur in late pregnancy, which is more than 32 weeks. So the vagina bleeding is normally painless, bright red in color, and it is usually minimal and only spotting. And on physical examination, we can feel that the uterus is soft and non-tender. The fetal parts can be felt. Fetal heartbeat is present. And sometimes, Placenta previa might cause malpresentation or abnormal lie of the fetus. For investigation, we can do transabdominal or transvaginal ultrasound to look at the location of the placenta. Transvaginal ultrasound is more ideal because it is closer and can localize the placenta more clearly. And we can also do CTG, cardiotocogram, to assess the fetal well-being. The management of placenta previa, there are two modes of delivery. The first one is spontaneous vagina delivery, which can be done for the minor types of placenta previa, which are type 1 and type 2 anterior placenta previa. Whereas for the other mode of delivery, which is lower, section caesarean, lower segment caesarean section, it is done for the major types like type 2 posterior, type 3 and type 4 placenta previa. The complications are also divided into two groups. For maternal, there might be postpartum hemorrhage, placenta eruption, risk of blood transfusion, caesarean hysterectomy, placenta accrete in the next pregnancy, and also might cause maternal death. Whereas for fetal complications, there might be prematurity due to preterm labor, and also intrauterine growth restriction, abnormal lie of the fetus, and congenital malformation. Thank you. That's all for this video.